I wanted a closure for this band. I wanted a good ending to have a nice closure. So when it got mentioned to do this again, I said, I'll do what I can. So I'll, I'll ask some questions and I'll probe around and I'll see what goes on. You know, I finally, Roger, he's really after me. So I says, okay, look, I says, if Dick will uh, come up from uh, Kentucky, I says, I'll do it. Knowing full well that Dick would never come up from Kentucky. Well, <laughs> Dick said he was gonna come. Roger couldn't wait to tell me. I contacted Ray. Uh, I went on Facebook, everybody's on, the whole world's on that thing. So he finally found him and uh, Ray was no problem. We'll do it. So anyway, so then now the hot pot is trying to find Larry. Now that was a trip. And at first he wasn't sure because Larry had gotten hurt he says, you know, if you were to ask me that six months ago, I would have said no, but I'm much better now, I'm doing okay. He says, yes, I will do it. So we had all the guys, plus the support group, which is really important, you know. So we said yes, and the thing began to roll. Great, nice to meet you. <laughs> Good to you see know, you. You know these people? That was surprising. Well, they were asking about you. Oh, They said yeah. you looked famous. They were oh, quite really? sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I hadn't seen Ray since, since the, uh, the concert back in 94. Uh, and uh, when he came down the stairs, I didn't even recognize him. He looked very good. He doesn't have hardly any wrinkles in his face at all. Uh, he had a goatee at the time. He shaved it off for the show. Yeah, it took me by surprise. I'm really overwhelmed in a sense that I'm gonna have 10 days here. I mean, for me, it's, it's, it's a long period of time uh, to be able to just catch up with you know, all the memories. Hey, uh, hey, Larry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like, Rock and roll, hey. old man. Yeah, yeah, still got it. <laughs> still alive, kicking. I'm ready, nobody else is. Of course, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I was, for the most part, focusing on Mike because he'd been singing the whole time. And, uh, but after a while, I began to put my attention toward Larry. And uh, because we weren't sure, he hadn't played bass in a long time. Yeah. And we weren't really sure if he was going to be coming. And so... We love that guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, when, I, when we hugged, I just about burst into tears, man, yeah. because, God, it's been so long since I've seen him. Yeah. And we had such a camaraderie back then. But as I saw him, you know, the energy that was coming out of him and playing, uh, it was just infectious. When I knew that somebody was brave enough to say, let's do it, I wasn't going to go against that spirit. I was going to say, yeah, let's do it. I was yeah. excited from the minute yeah, I heard. I'm getting a signal now. I just can't make it come out. We just came up with a buzz on that last board in the monitor. It's releasing the breath of God. It's releasing the voice of God. It's releasing the sound of heaven. So what is it? What is it exactly? It's sage from the from the deserts of uh, Arizona, and it's a ceremonial uh, herb that takes away the bad spirits and brings in good spirit, and we're full of good spirit here, so. Song list, I got tons of those, so. We used to just get the biggest chuckle out of the fact that people would applaud after oh, we played. Yeah, you know, they, yeah. they liked it. You know, like when, <laughs> when people started clapping their hands and say, yeah, you know, good song. I mean, 
So, wow, we better come up with another one that's good. <laughs> they might not applaud in the next one. <laughs> we'll be in trouble. I'm going to come up on stage and say, the Royal Knights started this. We ended it with a riot. And this is it again tonight. We're the last band. Of course, I might change this. We're the last band, and this is it. This is the end of the pal. Yeah, yeah. And then My recollection of the pal hop riot is a little different than yeah. a lot. And then we're going to because I was personally accused of starting the damn thing, which I did not do. We went on stage, we played, I can't remember the first song, but the second song was Backdoor Man by uh, The Doors. And we got about halfway through the first verse and a little scuffle started right in front of me, right down in front, and the place was packed. It was a night, there was good 900 people there. And uh, this good friend of ours was right there and he had nothing to do with it it happened next to him well the police were watching us they were watching him and uh they overreacted they really did they tried to arrest him immediately and all hell broke loose the promoter of the pal hop came and took our microphone stopped the music because 95 percent of the people didn't even know what was going on but the other 95 percent of the people were dancing and having a good time. They didn't know what was going on over here. The promoter goes in the microphone and says, stop the music, everybody downstairs, the dance is over. People are throwing rocks and they were throwing bottles, they were throwing through the windows. We were ducking stuff, we were trying to pick up our gear and trying to get out of there. And there was a pretty amazing riot. I mean, they turned up our benches, they, the, 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 the fire department came with their hoses and they hosed things down. It was pretty crap. It was on Paul Harvey, it was on National News, it was really uh, insane. <laughs> it really was, you know. And I think if they just would have gotten the guys that were causing the problem out of there, you know, escort them out, now, I think it would have continued to this day. And when you take all these kids going out at one time, a lot of them were having a good time. And uh, they had to leave. They were not happy. So it's overreacting. In retrospect, do you think it was a good idea to release all those kids out to the street? Well, that's a matter of opinion, right? Opinions are a dime a dozen. Uh, I would probably have reacted one way, another person reacts another way, so it's a matter of opinion. I would have had to say no. No what? Let everybody stay in the building. Those shows were the best ones, and they were the most fun, and I just hope everybody remembers that. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> yeah, those were fun times.